Big Matt is in the house. This is a locker room special. I got a super special guest down here at Coosa Christian Conquers, Coach Mark O'Brien. Coach, how are you, sir? It's great to see you. I'm so glad. Thank you for, for taking a little time out of your day. I appreciate you. Hey, always likewise, and I appreciate you, brother. It's good yes, seeing sir. you. Good hearing from you. Now, this week's game is going to be brought to you by Turkey Eye Clinic over here in town. J.R. and April McKenzie, they sponsor us for a long time, and they help us out with getting kids any kind of thing we can do to help. They're always in there for us. We appreciate them for sponsoring the game this week. Coach, tell us, uh, now y'all have had a little time off there, so tell us about Gatlinburg. I mean, not just really the game. I mean, you can talk about that, but just the time with the kids. I've seen some pictures or going to dinner. Did y'all go to some shows or, you know, what, how that all that No, uh, we gave, we got up there on Wednesday at about noon, and we stayed to Saturday at 9 in the morning. And uh, I gave the kids off from 5.30 to 7.30 on Thursday night. That was it. Yeah. Uh, the rest of the time it was, you know, meeting rooms and, and practices and walkthroughs and film and, you know, just all the above. That that deal is really uh, – it's a twofold deal. Um, you know, one part of it is it's for the parents to get up there and get away and have a little vacation and then watch their, you know, son play on Friday night. Yeah. All right. And then the the next part of that equation is is to pre- pre- prepare us if we're ever good enough to go on the road and have to stay somewhere overnight. Like for instance, if you make it to you know the final game, you typically go the night four. Which it already gives you a process of how you've already done this, and the kids are used to it. Yeah, absolutely. That sounds uh, that's good. Your preparation on the season uh, and how you started out. I mean, Jesus Louise. I mean, he wants to play. You know, Geraldine, and then uh, the two A team of spring garden that had the the 2a defensive coach of the year coach ragsdale these guys have been pitching shutouts for years uh so you know starting the season out with that and uh now for this week homecoming for cedar bluff and i know y'all are gonna have to go down there and play spoiler on their homecoming and you want to go down there you want to win the game um but you know first time meeting you and i'll share this story i've probably have on air before uh for people right here in the county i was on the sideline and i helped do chains for many years there at cedar bluff and whatever else i could always do to help my son and his his friends um ombre just he made a great play and coach o'brien just said he congratulated like you know it was a good catch and uh ombre is always just antic he's animated he's funny i love him so much i miss seeing him a lot uh and coach o'brien was just celebrating him as a player uh and, and I thought, man, who is this guy? What? I mean, I've never seen a coach just encourage other kids on the other team. Uh, so that's how me and him kind of got to know each other. And then from there on, it's just it's just went up and got to spend more time with him. So uh, as bringing in the week, so how's practice been the last few days? Coach A.B. over here, I went and missed them yesterday. They had a good day. They was popping pads and getting after it. And I'm sure Teddy's got them jumping doing the same thing because I've been a part of one meeting where he was <clears> he got in on one day at practice upstairs up there <laughs> So I, I know uh, how's all that been going this week. We've had a great, <clears throat> great week of practice. Honestly, it's probably the best week of practice this year. The kids are very locked in. I don't know if that what that looks like on Friday night. I can just tell you from the experience of Monday and Tuesday has been very good. Okay, and I know, you know, AB Coach Beckett, love him to death. Cedar Bluff couldn't have hired anybody better. He's the right guy. All right, and um, we're going to get their best. I know we're going to get their best effort Friday. I know it's coming, and um, I expect it to be a war. Um, you know, we better not quit. That's one thing our kids better understand. We don't, we're don't. we not going to quit. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I look for it to be, you know, really, really tight, close game. Uh, A.B. does a wonderful job with those guys, man, and he's got it, he's got it going the right direction. And I uh, just have a lot of respect for that guy. Ton of respect for that guy. Yeah, he's he's trying to do that. Get in there in fifth and sixth grade and try to start from there and not just win games right now. And it it, it was a little bit of a a hope thing. You know, you come in his first year and he, he, won, he wins the region. So everybody's like, whoa, yeah, all right. You know, and then, you know, they have a big class graduate. And we, we knew it was coming, people that keep up with the program and watch. We knew this these things were going to happen. And you're going to have some letdown, and uh, and mm-hmm. other teams to celebrate in the region, your team included, and Valley Head guys listening, watching, 
whatever. We appreciate you stopping by. But those other teams have took their lumps. And this year, they have been successful because of the things that they've been doing. And trust me, uh, Coach Beckett, I mean, like Coach O'Brien just alluded to, I mean, honestly, with his experience and time in and what he's done in other places, and for the money that they they make, you can go see what kind of money. They don't make any money. If you put in hours by pay, none of these yeah. head coaches anywhere hardly make any kind of money at all. And with his record to get him for – for that i mean uh yeah i don't know who else you know you're gonna get to come in there and do it so well you've got um, you've got a guy right there that does the little bitty things you know and i know i know you know i'm not saying i'm anything special or anything like that but i know pretenders from contenders i've done this deal long enough yeah you know the coaches that take it really really serious and you know the coaches that likes to blow a whistle in the fall all right that guy does it the right way He's trying to uncover uh, every stone in his yard, okay? Yeah. And when you got that guy, you better embrace that guy. Yeah. Uh, because, <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, you get the wrong guy in and they can wreck a program, and that's, he's the right guy. If, I mean, know. who else is to come to a 1A school? And 1A schools, is, it's hard to attract good coaches, One, first of all, to a small school. Yeah. It's hard. I mean, who – you know, I don't want to get into college football, but like Auburn, I mean, who wants to go coach against Alabama and Georgia every year and try to go recruit against them? Yeah. Who who wants that yeah. job? Yeah. Um, Somebody that loves a challenge. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, the grass ain't always greener. And I'm telling you, Cedar Bluff's got a great one. They've got a great, great coach, great dude. Yeah. I, really, really good dude. And, now, talking uh, about good dudes, you're you're a great guy too, and retired from the Navy. If people yeah. don't know, Coach O'Brien was in part of the SEAL program, and he's instilled a lot of that stuff because that first year he opened up down there. Uh, Starkey, Average Joe's, shout out to Bo and Reggie and Josh and, and the company, uh, introduced us. And first day in down there, I go see Coach O'Brien, and I mean, um, there's just not a lot going on down there up there in, in the above room now. That's the training room. That was just nothing. And, you know, to come in and do what you've done and just complete 180 and to bring in a staff and, and you know, you're a great coach. You've been doing this a long time. That's where it starts, bringing in the guys. Brag on Teddy and Alaric a little bit. Tell us about them. I didn't mean, just Teddy and Alaric, you know, and, and, yes, they're wonderful dudes. Um, you know, Alaric's lived with me since he's, you know, 12 years old. Um, and, of course, Teddy's like a brother to me. Uh, but the thing was, the process, you know, um, when we came on 25 months ago, I knew it was going to take uh, some time. You just yeah. you can't fix it. And so and so we've been blessed, okay, to have the right people. And Teddy's, I've done this a long time, Matt, I'm telling you. And I mean this with my whole heart. I've seen the best of college strength coaches come through, all right, I've been around them because I've I've been blessed to see a lot of kids go to the NFL from where you know that it's been under me. A lot of kids go co play college football. It's under me. Teddy Whitmire is the best strength coach I've ever been around, wow. and I don't care what level of competition. I've never yeah. seen one that good, and that's his greatest strength. Yeah. He's a great football coach on the grass, but strength coach wise, I ain't never seen one as good. He's that good. Yeah, I've been up there in the summer, and, you know, before he come, uh, yeah. you know, you had a little bit of help, but you were just trying to. I had it. I, yeah, I was doing it all. <laughs> yeah. That was tough. I was around in that pre-time, so uh, I can go to bat for, for Coach O'Brien here and say uh, what they've got, it just didn't happen. Uh, it, yeah. It's taken some. And they're still in the middle, and they're still building. Uh, after this week, I think you guys got Appalachian, and you got Woodville. And then Victory Christian, so yep. th really, I mean, I don't want to, because you had games against Valley Head, which is, you know, leading in the region now. But, again, this this next game is the most important game. Why? Because it's the next game. Yep. Uh, that you're fixing to jump right in here region play, and it's going to be boom, 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 you know, all the yep. way through till the, the last game. Y'all don't play, uh, you know, have uh, Phillips. Good gracious, man. You don't play Bear Creek, man. I, yeah, that looks make. like the first round game. Yeah. Um, and I've actually started cutting them already, Matt. Uh, so, um, so yeah, I mean, that's why I said, that's why I tell our kids, Hey, season begins this week. Yep. Um, and it does because you lose down this stretch. Yeah. 
and it's going to be really, really hard to overcome. Everything you've done has nothing to do with what you that's, have to do. That's correct. It's done. Yeah. Um, yeah, and y'all were jumping feet first into uh, traveling to Cedar Bluff, and yep. uh, it's homecoming. They're going to be excited. They've been hitting pads over there. You guys been – I know uh, Teddy's been – uh, getting after them down there because I've been in part of that practice and, yeah. and they don't mess around. And your other coach, he's got a young coach down there is kind of helping shadowing some. Um, I can't remember his name. Young crew cut guy. Dindy? Yeah, blonde headed, real young yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah, he coached running backs for me. I like him. He he gets in there at practice with them. And when they do that, this it's a walking drill, guys, for listeners and watchers. They get out there and line the players up straight across all in front of them, and they, they creep left or creep right. They're wanting the players to, what they're doing is building this mirror and to, to move to the ball and to creep to the ball. And when they run, he, they run. Uh, it, it's really cool. I, I like that. I've never seen that before. That's why I wanted to bring that up. Where does that yeah. come from? Is that from Teddy, or is that some of your yeah, stuff? Yeah, I think Teddy dreamed it one night and <laughs> put it into play. You know, I like it, though. It's, it's, a form, it's like shadow boxing, right, if you've ever boxed. Yeah, it's like it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's kind of why they wind down their practice, and uh, yeah. it's it's uh, it's a fun practice to go see, man. They they really get after it, and it's not for the faint of heart because when they go in them in the cage down there and those linemen start hitting each other, and uh, Cleet, Coach O'Brien's son, they're not pulling any punches from each other, and they can be buddies after practice. They're really trying. So you know, hats off to you and all your coaching staff really done a good job down there and you can see it uh you can just see it you can see it on the field too but also being around they just have this uh you know we're not just coast of christian we're not you know you don't schedule us to just go up there and we're gonna beat us that's that's gone i can see it's gone i can see it at practice and y'all are doing a great job and, and i sure coach beckett company and crane are looking forward to having y'all come down and catch y'all friday night and we look forward to seeing them for sure it's just, uh, I think a lot of that staff, I really do. And yeah, Coach Crane's, uh, he's Mr. Tiger, man. He's Mr. Cedar Bluff. Yeah, always so friendly. He's always he so is. friendly. You know? He was great to my son. Uh, good coach. Uh, can't yeah. brag on him enough. Uh, well, I won't hold you up more. I just want to get your thoughts on the week and, and see what you kind of feel. So, you know, coming into this week, y'all have had a good week of practice so far. And today being Wednesday, uh probably be a, a tougher day than you do walkthroughs just tomorrow is kind of it you know yeah. yeah this is the last i mean yeah walkthroughs walkthroughs hazing the barn on that thing all yeah. right so you know so this is really your last day of practice to get better to get ready to play friday night so this is it last day right here and we'll be off field by 20 after five today so that's it all right well coach uh thank you for your time and uh thank you for uh, AB, I'm sure he'll be he'll, he'll appreciate the compliments and compliments to you and your staff. Uh, yeah. It's just always been a good game, and uh, uh, I'm excited about Friday night. We'll be there early, Matt and Todd show guys. We will be live, and we'll do a pregame show. Uh, Dean will be breaking down Cedar Bluff some, and I'll break down some Coastal Christian stuff probably 30 minutes before the game. Come by and holler at us, and we'll be on the field. I'll be doing something, so uh, we'll see you guys down there, Coach. I hey, make sure you come and see me on the field, right? I like Absolutely, see. man. No, there's yeah. no doubt. No doubt, bro. Yeah. You and Todd both. Absolutely. I'll we'll have a bottle that. of shampoo in my pocket. Yeah, don't don't forget about that. That's the inside yeah. thing, and uh, yeah. I'll share with anybody on the show uh, yeah. Sunday. Y'all come by and see us. Sunday nights at 6 o'clock. All right, thank you all for tuning in, Coach O'Brien. Thank you, bro. We love you, man. And, and Love you too, safe. man. Appreciate safe, you, okay? Safe trip coming down. Back at you, brother. All right, peace. All right. All right, bro. All right, Coach O'Brien, had him in from Coosa Christian. Uh, good guy, really got to know them guys here in the past year or two. Uh, I like any guys that just have a great, he just has a, a lot for kids, I mean. Uh, so I always got to appreciate that. And that's always got to be uh, talked about in a positive way, of course, in these days and times. We need good men to raise good men. So guys, that's going to do it for uh, the Locker Room Special. Head Coach Beckett. There's Coach O'Brien. He'll meet up Friday night at LD Bruce Field. Be there about 7. Probably won't get there a little early. Hey, we're having a dinner out there. Come over a little early. I think it's about 5 o'clock. Go get you a plate of food. Uh, Principal Mr. McDaniel is kind of bringing that back, you know. So, uh, 
go out there and support Sue Bluff and just get you a good meal, even if you didn't go to school there. So, uh, Turkey Eye Clinic game of the week. Tigers versus Conkers. We'll see you guys there Friday night. We appreciate it. God bless you. We love you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.